Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk about my favorite audio hack on how to get seamless loops every time. I'm talking about looping points. When you get to the end of the file and it starts back over and looping, it's something we all do. We have to do to create ambient soundscapes, music beds, all those things. And there's nothing more frustrating than listening to a loop all the way through. And when it starts over, you get that click and that pop and you have to spend all this time trying to adjust it and find the right spot so it's seamless and you can't hear the loop. What if I told you there was a really easy audio hack to make sure every single time you get a perfectly seamless loop and you don't have to waste time trying to find the perfect loop point. There is a way to do it. I'm going to show you my favorite trick right now. Okay, so I'm in here in Cubase and I have a loop pulled up. I'm going to play it for you. It's just a, an ambient pad that I made and um, it's just a really nice smooth ambient pad and it's a super long pad. So this would be typically of typical of something we would want to loop. Um, so let me just loop these four bars here and let's listen to the, what that sounds like. When it gets to the end of the loop, you're going to hear a massive clip. Start from here. So as you can see, that loop is not clean. It's terrible, unbearable. So here's what we do. Here's our trick. So we are going to, um, one, we're going to lock it to a tempo grid because we need to be able to cut and paste in perfect time. So here's the end of this loop right here. And what's happening is when it gets to here, it jumps to here. And the information after this loop is not the same as this, which is why we get a kind of a sample clip here. So what we want to do is we want to cut and paste this so that when this loop ends and goes back to here, it's actually playing this audio. And then that way it'll be a perfect seam. So what we wanna do is we wanna copy this section here and we then want to paste it here. And the reason I'm copying the, the measure before it is because I want that exact information right here. So now when we play this loop, we're going to hear a seamless, perfect loop. Now we'll fix that in a minute, but listen to this loop. Perfect, absolutely perfect and smooth. And then all we, we're going to need to do here <clears throat> is just crossfade this because ultimately this part, oops, it's too much. Ultimately, this part of the track is where we want to crossfade it. Um, and then that way, that part will be seamless as well. <clears throat> so we're going to crossfade that. And now let's listen to it. And what we have here is a perfect seamless loop. forever and it's and you'll never hear the clipping you'll never hear the beginning or the end of it so this is the way to make your loop super clean and not have to constantly fight with figuring out the best place to loop it so now when you pull this into the unreal engine you can set these two markers as loop points or you can actually just delete this and delete this and just export this four bar chunk right here as your loop. And there you have a four bar perfect seamless loop. So that wraps up our seamless loop tutorial. Hope that this was helpful and hope it saves you a lot of time in the future. Thanks for checking out this video and we'll see you in the next one.